My younger brother failed his exam and was too afraid of the teacher calling our parents, so he had me called in to go to the school. Dad, this is my form teacher. My little brother pulled on my shirt shyly, but I sensed the murderous gaze from the woman opposite me. Isn't this my first love whom I dumped three years ago? I braced myself to greet her. Hide. What a coincidence. It's not a coincidence at all. Rather, I didn't know that only three years after our breakup, you've had such a grown-up son. When I first went to college, my parents gave me a present for my matriculation. I asked what it was, and they said it was not the time yet. Nine months later, a new little brother had just come into the world. Looking at my mom shyly hiding into my dad's arms, I looked up to him with my thumb up. Dad, you're amazing. Now you can even have a little son. The key point is, my brother looks just like me. Comparing my old photos with him, they were simply identical. My mom held my brother with a smug face. The excellent genes of our family, if not creating more, would simply be a waste. Look at this little face. How many girls' hearts will be hooked in the future? I really don't want to disappoint my mom, but I, like an older version of my little brother, I've only ever had one love. My younger brother is truly a challenge sent from heaven for me. From childhood, he didn't shy from climbing trees, swimming, or stealing bird eggs. After he started school, he was always at the bottom of his grade, and he didn't dare tell his parents. Every time he only let me, the complaining brother, go to the office to be scolded by the teacher. It is said that my brother has a new class teacher this term. The results of the second trimester exam came out. I was invited again. In the office, my brother honestly pulled my shirt and greeted the woman in front of him. Teacher Willow, my dad is here. Dad, this is my class teacher. Teacher Willow. I was about to greet, but the words were swallowed when they reached my mouth. Meeting the woman's cool gaze, I braced myself, and the words took a turn. Hi. What a coincidence, it's not a coincidence at all. Rather, I didn't know that only three years after our breakup, you've had such a grown-up son. My brother looked up at me with a shocked face. At this moment, the two brothers shouted out a word inside, it's over. Half an hour later, my mother came and laughed disdainfully at my brother, then went to the office to talk. That night, my brother received punishments from both parents. I received a friend verification request from my three years apart ex-girlfriend, Willow. From the start of my college, I had noticed this lofty flower, so I pursued her hard for a year. Till now I'm still on the school's kiss-ass list. But in the end, I really got this tall and proud flower, and even had a vigorous three-year relationship. But everyone thought that when Willow graduated, she would marry me. I proposed a breakup and dumped her, causing Willow to be sad and go to the US to study. I became a campus legend. Your cup is left in the office. Willow sent me a photo. I suddenly remembered today, and my brother was chased by my mother. He hid behind me. I was busy making peace and left my cup in her office. Could you help me give it to my brother and let him bring it back to me tomorrow? The reply came instantly. No, you can't man fetch it yourself. After all, it was what I gave you. This water bottle was once given to me by Willow, and I have treasured it for a long time. It's over. The image of a love expert I left when I broke up is now shattered. The next day I came to school. Willow was sitting in the office. She was wearing a simple white shirt, sitting by the window. Her slender fingers holding a pen seemed to be correcting assignments. When I first saw Willow, she was sitting quietly aside, attracting everyone's eyes. Bro, what are you doing standing here? While I was completely absorbed, a call came from behind. Willow raised her head. When she heard the sound, my brother was surrounded by a few girls. He looked at me curiously and asked, Is it because teacher Willow called you over to lecture me again? It seems that my brother understands his playful characteristics very well. Willow just came out. I hadn't spoken yet. Those girls had already surrounded her. Teacher Willow, Jacob is flirting with us. I widened my eyes, looking at my seven-year-old brother. He really is an expert in love. Jacob was anxiously stamping his foot. No, I'm not. I was just kidding. But several girls wouldn't let him off. He is flirting. He said he's going to marry us. Several girls stood on the side with grievances. I felt I had to say something to show that I am a reasonable brother. 
Jacob, how can you do this? You are a student, your main task is to study. You cannot focus on love. Willow laughed softly behind me. I suddenly sobered up and remembered someone had said this to me. George, you are a student. You should focus on your studies and shouldn't always think about love. I said in front of Willow, exactly what she had said to me. You really are brothers. Willow commented, comforted the girls, and sent the people away. My brother and I stood on the side, like two trembling quails. Willow went into the office, handed me the cup, and picked up her bag. Let's go. I'll treat you to a meal to reminisce. If we usually heard the words eat, my brother and I could happily celebrate. But facing Willow, my brother and I dared not speak. Especially my brother, holding chopsticks, only dared to pick up the rice and dishes in front of him, possibly because I was the one who broke up back then. And it was said that someone saw Willow entering a bridal shop to look at wedding dresses, but I dumped her. So now looking at Willow, I feel guilty. Well, how how's your life in the United States? Not bad. Busy studying every day. After all, no one is bothering me about love anymore. I lowered my head, not daring to speak at all. Fortunately, Willow no longer talked about her own matters, instead chatted about Jacob's learning situation. My brother looked at me pitifully. I'm sorry, brother, to make it less awkward for me, you have to suffer. After dinner, I declined Willow's offer to drive us home, resolutely took the subway home. My brother dragged me to run faster than a rabbit. After getting on the subway, we both brothers grasped the handle and panted. Pro, is teacher Willow really your ex-girlfriend? I nodded. Then teacher Willow must have liked you a lot. Did she listen to you in the past? I thought carefully. She did like me before. As for listening to me, it's also seemed to be the case. Seeing me nodding, my brother became more excited. Then that's great. Why don't you and teacher Willow get back together? I stared at my brother in disbelief, unable to imagine how a seven-year-old could say such things, the people around all cast out looks at us, and I instantly felt that I shouldn't have taken the subway today. It's true, if teacher Willow ever treats me badly in the future, I can come to you for help. How did she mistreat you? She always picks me to answer questions, and she checks my homework very carefully. I stayed silent for a long while, then spent the entire journey explaining to him that this is the way the teacher shows that she cares about his performance. I don't believe you. Aren't you going to help me or not? Aren't I your brother? No, you're my nemesis. I pondered over and decided to give him a brief description of my romantic history with Willow. After that, Jacob didn't say a word. Until we got off the subway, he suddenly yelled, So it's because you dumped teacher Willow, so teacher Willow doesn't like me. Well, all my explanation seems to have been in vain. This kid has a problem. When we got home, my brother's eyes were red, and he ran into his room and began to sob as soon as he threw his backpack down. What's wrong? Aren't you usually very happy when your brother picks you up? My mom walked into his room with a puzzled look on her face, and soon I could hear the loud wailing coming from his room. Mom, now I know what it means when they say innocence, suffer for the guilty. Fortunately, his sadness only lasted for three days, Three days later, he came home with a notebook that had a thumbs up drawn on it and proudly showed off his reward. Teacher Willow said that I've been doing really well on my homework recently, so she drew this especially for me. My brother shoved the notebook in front of me, but I stared at the sketch lost in thought. This simple sketch was taught to Willow by me. At that time, we were studying in the library together, but I couldn't keep up with her thought process, so I would get sleepy after reading for a bit. To keep from drooling on the book, I had to do something else. So I drew a simple sketch to signify a thumbs up on her notepad. Don't doodle all over my notepad. After she scolded me, I glared back at her in dissatisfaction. I'm teaching you. You can use this to reward students when you become a teacher. Willow simply laughed without saying a word and let me fill her notebook with thumbs dash ops dot dot turns out. She'd already learned how to draw it. I returned the notebook to my little brother who looked at me with why, curious eyes. But I hope that Teacher Willow will be with you. I can tell everyone that Teacher Willow is my future sister-in-law. It will give me so much face. It turned out that he was just worried about his own vanity, so I covered his mouth with my hand and told him to get on with his homework. After that, my little brother didn't mention the matter again. I thought he had forgotten about the incident. 
However, I never anticipated that a week later, I would receive a message from Willa. Did Jacob tell you that you haven't been dating anyone all this time because you've been waiting for me? Rumors indeed spread easily, but it's difficult to disprove them. When I got home, I immediately gave my brother a good thrashing, causing him to clutch his head and scream, isn't it just like that? You've been single this whole time, waiting for teacher Willow, no. I didn't know what to say at the moment, if I refute it, wouldn't that mean revealing the pitiful state of not being pursued for these years? Pro, just get back together with teacher Willow. She was particularly delighted to know that you've been single. How do you know that she was delighted? Can you read her thoughts? He huffed, turning his head away. I just know. She showed us a movie this afternoon. She doesn't usually do that. Did she show a film about dental care? How did you know? His response made me laugh. I responded, because today is World Dental Care Day. I was amazed at his train of thought, really. But my brother stuck to his guns, repeating this over and over. At night, as I lay on the bed, my phone screen still displayed the message from Willa. After pondering over and over, I reply, I guess not. There are dozens who want to date me, but none of them are right. I put down my phone after sending it, and a reply came within three seconds. So, you haven't met anyone better than me, I'm doomed. Living in America has really changed her. The once unapproachable lady has now become this bold. I thought you were waiting for me. After all, you were the one who once said you'll love me for the rest of your life. I gazed at Willow's message, my head filled with mixed feelings. Those were things from many years ago. Perhaps I was just shooting my mouth off. I took it seriously. That phrase kept me up the entire night. The following day, I reported to work with circles under my eyes. My colleague was startled and commented, You haven't been working overtime recently. How did you pull an all-nighter? Don't tell me, it's because of a woman. I forced out a semblance of a smile, tatting my shoulder. My colleague seemed to think he understood. Take love matters seriously. Take my advice. Choosing someone who loves you is better than choosing someone you love. For instance, the lady from the other date who was chasing after you, Anna. I suspected that my colleague might be playing matchmaker for some money. He was pushing me towards a relationship with another colleague from the human resources department. Before I could politely refuse, Anna approached timidly. George, are you busy today? Can we have dinner together after work? I recall that you recently mentioned in your circle of friends that you wanted to have barbecue. There happens to be a new barbecue shop nearby. I was prepared to decline, but when I heard barbecue, I hesitated. It's just a meal. I'd like to give it a try too. Can we just treat it as friends having a meal together? Given the circumstances, it seemed rude to refuse. So after work, we headed to the restaurant together. In the smoky barbecue shop, I dug in unreservedly. George, I've always wanted to ask, what kind of person do you like? Willow's face flashed into my mind. She was like the unreachable moonlight, an aloof, yet tender person. A sight that stirs your heart upon your first gaze. In fact, there is someone I like, although reluctant to admit it. Willow truly was my moonlight, or I would like to say, the love of my life. Anna remained silent for a long time before showing a bitter smile urging me to continue eating. By the end of dinner, it was almost dark. I was getting ready to escort her home. As soon as I left the restaurant, I heard someone calling my name. My brother was holding Willow's hand. They both wore gloomy expressions. Weren't you supposed to pick me up today? Ah, uh, oh no, I completely forgot. When we got home, my brother dropped his backpack and stormed back to his room. What's with the tension between you brothers lately? I awkwardly scratched my head. I was definitely in the wrong. We had agreed in the morning that I would pick him up from school, but I was so busy that I forgot. My brother had been waiting anxiously with Willow at the school for two hours. In the end, Willow decided to bring him home. However, just a block away, they saw me coming out from the barbecue shop. After finally soothing my brother, I remembered to send a message to Willow. Thanks for today. I was so busy that I completely forgot about it. Looks like you were busy dining with another woman. The response from Willow reminded me of her face earlier. A brooding expression, her eyes piercing into Anna as if she could dig a hole through her. It wasn't until my brother cried out in pain from her clutch that she snapped out of her thoughts. She is a colleague. I needed some advice on a work-related issue. 
I didn't even know why I was explaining to Willow. It somehow felt superfluous. It was only after I had finished bathing and was lying in bed did I receive a response from Willow. It's none of my business. Do as you please. She was right. We had broken up. So who I had dinner with should not matter to her. Dot dot. However, the message kept me up for an entire night. In the days that followed, Willow no longer contacted me, and neither did Anna. My life had returned to its usual peaceful state. Until a month later, my brother came home with his latest examination results. The splendid grades made my mother beam with Joe, rewarding him with two large chicken drumsticks for dinner. However, he ate without a smile on his face. After a sigh, he deposited his chicken drumsticks into my bowl. Before bed, my brother quietly pushed open my door. Pro, can you please date teacher Willow? I can't handle this anymore. My younger brother was almost crying on my bed. Teacher Willow checks my homework every day. I'm called to answer questions in every class. I'm really tired. Isn't it good that the teacher is paying attention to you? I was about to console my brother, but I found out that he had already fallen asleep because he was too tired. Is it really that hard? In the following half a month, I saw my brother getting more tired day by day, so much so that he was almost falling asleep while eating. It was then that I finally realized the seriousness of the situation and decided to send the message to Willow. Teacher Willow, Jacob's grades are not bad this time. Thank you for your guidance, but he recently said that he is too tired. Can he relax a little bit? Polite and respecting. Just perfect. I was secretly delighted. In the afternoon, I received a reply from Willow. He has a lot of potential and should focus on his studies. Upon seeing the message, I was somewhat angry. Now Jacob does not even watch television. He just goes home and starts doing his homework. Isn't that focusing enough? I thought it over carefully. Could it be because of the incident last time? Do you overly concern other students in this way too? Or are you upset because of the previous incident? Are you questioning my professionalism in teaching? No. I'm just talking about the matter itself. In my heart, I silently muttered. Willow is getting more and more narrow-minded. Afterwards, Willow did not reply anymore. When my brother came home after school, he had a lawn face. Teacher Willow criticized me today. Can't you to let me not be involved in your affairs? Why? Willow wouldn't make it difficult for my younger brother, right? What about her teaching ethics? They wouldn't all have been left in America, right? I was about to question her with my phone when I saw the message pop up on my phone. He has indeed been more serious in studying recently, but only during class, and he spends the rest of his time playing card games, I asked him, and he's been hiding and playing at night so much that he's neglected eating and sleeping. I was shocked and rushed into my brother's room, and sure enough, I found a whole set of Ultraman cards under his mattress. He must have used all his money to buy cards. My brother was hiding on the side, pretending to be innocent. Willow sent another message. I have already criticized him. He is playing too many card games to the point of affecting his rest. Please try to stop him a little bit. Also, the class is random in calling names, so there is no phenomenon of excessive attention. I was ashamed after reading the message. I never thought I would be this kind of person in your eyes. Now it's really over. I was so angry that I called my brother over and beat him up before confiscating all his Ultraman cards. It was only afterwards that I realized that Willow might be angry. Because she didn't reply to the apology message I sent her. She used to not reply to messages when she was angry. Perhaps because Willow has high moral standards. Being questioned for lack of teacher ethics made her feel uncomfortable. Seeing that she hadn't replied to several messages had sent, I decided to go and apologize in person. While picking up my brother, I went to her office. Willow was still in her simple white shirt, correcting homework. But her temperament is unique. On the way to the school, I heard several little girls discussing how beautiful teacher Willow is. Indeed, aesthetic appreciation is cultivated from a young age. It felt like I was back in my university days. Back then, I was in a club when I overheard that a student was exceptionally beautiful. Seeing her made my heart skip a beat while I was thinking. A voice came. Do you need something? I was caught peeking and quickly said, I'm sorry, I was wrong about the previous matter. I didn't understand it fully. I came to apologize. Yes, I accept, that's it. I prepared an apology for half an hour. And now I finished as soon as I started. I'll take you to dinner as an apology. 
Okay. No need. I have something to do later. I gritted my teeth and was about to speak when there was a knock on the door from behind. Teacher Willow. It's time for the meeting. A very handsome teacher. Very gentlemanly in his manners. Willow followed him out. On the way back my younger brother held my hand and said, Did you see? That's our English teacher. Teacher Zhang. Yeah, he's pretty handsome. Teacher John is not only handsome, but he also likes Teacher Willow. If you want to get back together with Teacher Willow, you need to seize the opportunity. After pondering for a moment, I squat down and look at my younger brother. Teacher Willow and I did date before, but it's over now. There's no chance for us. You shouldn't say this kind of thing in the future. It could be misunderstood. My brother nodded in a seemingly understanding way. But why? Teacher Willow likes you very much. Don't you like Teacher Willow? Where did you get that from? I was annoyed and stood up, took his hand and walked briskly towards home. My younger brother trotted all the way, never stopping talking. Usually when we go to the office to find Teacher Willow, if we don't talk about studies, she let us play by ourselves. But that day, and I mentioned you in the office, she listened for a long time and finally asked about your recent situation. It was only until the class began that she let me go. Does Willow still like me? This thought lingered in my heart for a long time. I remember the day we broke up. It was a particularly sad rainy day. Dot dot Willow sat across from me, her fingers constantly twiddling due to nervousness. When I said we should break up, she expressed a look of disbelief. I sat at the airport for a whole day, watching the planes take off and land, repeatedly telling myself, Willow finally went abroad. This is what her life should be. I thought she would stay in America, but I ran into her again three years later. After that, I never picked up my brother from school again. After thinking for a long time, I deleted Willow's contact information. Seeing her always makes me upset, it's better not to contact her. My brother didn't mention that name again, for some reason. The peach blossoms were blooming very vigorously, in the blink of an eye. It was December. My younger brother came home and pulled me aside. Do you really not like Teacher Willow? It's been a long time since I heard him mention this matter. Today, I saw Teacher John buy a large bunch of flowers. I heard he was going to send them to Teacher Willow's house. That handsome male teacher, he and her make a good match. I didn't say a word and couldn't sleep that night. I developed a fever the next day and took the day off to sleep at home. In the evening when I was sleeping comfortably, I heard noes from next door. Even though it's not rest time, the neighbor should still respect it. I opened my door in my pajamas, about to scold the person, but when I saw who it was, I was at a loss for words. The door across from mine was wide open. Willow was standing in the stairwell, directing several workers to move a sofa inside. Hello, neighbor. Willow actually moved in next door. That night, she came to borrow a bottle of soy sauce from me. The one who reacted the most to this situation was my little brother. After eating his dinner, he directly knelt down in an exaggerated manner in front of me. Dig brother, I beg you, make up with teacher Willow, otherwise wouldn't she be watching me every day since she lives next door. I shrugged my shoulders and told him there was nothing I could do. Willow today comes to borrow some so sauce, tomorrow to borrow some toilet paper. Even my mom was starting to wonder, teacher Willow usually looks careful. Why is she so forgetful? I vaguely sensed her intention. But Willow still maintained a distance with me, just saying hello when we meet. My brother looks at every day and no longer dared to go down the stairs to play with the other children. Watching the weather getting colder and colder, Christmas was coming soon, and the surrounding neighbors and businesses started to prepare. Although my brother's school doesn't take a break on Christmas, the teachers supposedly have a dinner that day, so they let the students out early. In the afternoon, he sent me a message asking me to come home early for hot pot dot dot just before the end of the workday. The company suddenly gave each of us a flower. So we would not go home empty handed and feel awkward seeing couples on the street holding the flower. I hummed a tune and walked home. Just as I reached the downstairs I saw Willow taking out the trash. Wasn't she going to a dinner party? I wondered. I greeted her and was about to go upstairs. But she grabbed my hand. Are you going to celebrate Christmas with someone? I was puzzled by this question and could only nod. Well, at least it's a festival, so I'll join in the fun and eat hot pot later. Willow let go of my hand, her face extremely pale, 
she was still the same as before, dressing stylish without considering warmth. Just as I was about to remind her, my phone rang. Obviously my younger brother was urging me. Never mind. We already broke up. I don't need to care about her that much. I answered the phone and walked up. On Christmas Day, our family happily gathers together to enjoy a hot pot. Halfway through, we realized that we ran out of oyster sauce. As someone who adores oyster sauce, I absolutely couldn't accept this and put on my shoes to go buy some oyster sauce. There's red color everywhere outside. It's all joyous and festive. I brought the oyster sauce and hummed a song as I walked home. I looked up to see Willow's home. Completely dark, she may have gone out. I sighed gently as I went upstairs, as I just got out of the elevator. I hadn't even taken out my key, when a pair of slender hands pulled me into the stairwell. I'm already in the dim stairwell before I knew what was happening. Just as I raised the bottle of oyster sauce, another hand also grabbed me. It's me. When I heard that familiar voice, then I realized. Willow, what are you doing? You scared me. In the dim light, Willow pulled me around, swapping places. The air was filled with a faint smell of alcohol. Have you been drinking? Merry Christmas. She said something that was hard to understand and one hand held mine. Her fingers were very cold. It was evident that she had been standing outside for a long time. Weren't you supposed to be celebrating Christmas? Why did you come back? I celebrated Christmas with my family. What were you thinking? Why did you delete my contact information? She just realized it now. I rolled my eyes and said, you never respond to my messages, so I deleted you. Anyway, if something comes up with my brother, you can contact my mother. The why did you delete my contact information three years ago? I sent so many messages, you didn't reply to any and eventually deleted me. I immediately fell silent. Those are all old stories now. What's the point in talking about them? So you forgot about everything. You forgot your promises to me. You forgot the things we did together. Suddenly. Willow stretched out her hand and pulled my tie, making me bow my head and look at her. How can you be so passionate when you like someone, and then throw her aside without hesitation when you don't? Sometimes I wonder, George, did you ever like me? What was our love for three years? Did you really like me? Or was I just a target for you? I've never heard Willow speak with a crying voice. Normally, she is very proud and cold. Just standing there makes people feel hard to get close. Why don't you say something? Can't you even utter a word now? She rushed into my arms, emitting a familiar scent. My mind went blank, and instinctively I wrapped my arms around her waist. George, why did you do this to me? It's been three years. I've been thinking every day. What did I do wrong to make you sentence me to death without saying a word? In the dim and deserted stairwell, her voice was hauntingly sad. I have been to the church countless times, praying before God, hoping you could forgive my mistakes. I thought it would be good if there really were devils in this world. I could make a deal with them. I would exchange all of my things, just to be with you again. Three years, neither long nor short, listening to Willow's words, tears streamed down my face. All this time I also have been living in extreme pain, she continued. Tell me, please, tell me, what did I do wrong? I'm willing to change. I can't accept you being with someone else. She hugged me tightly, and a tear dripped onto me. I'm sorry. After a long silence, I only said these three words. I don't want to hear sorry. I just hope we can start over. Willow buried her head in my chest. I felt her body shaking. I raised my hand and gently patted her back, saying, Okay after saying this, I suddenly felt a heavy burden lifted, the pain that had been there all this time suddenly disappeared. Willow suddenly raised her head and was stunned for a long time. Really? You're not going to leave me behind this time, are you? I won't. My eyes were red, looking at the person in front of me. From the time you came back, I really wanted to be with you. But I'm afraid you won't be able to forgive me. I'm afraid of rejection, just like how I rejected you before. By the time I went home with the groceries, my younger brother's belly was already full. Brother, why are you back so late? Move quickly, I left some shrimps for you. I sat at the table, eating my meal in hurry, while my younger brother suddenly looked at me, asking, Brother, why is your mouth swollen? I was shocked, I was too passionate in the stairwell. I had kissed to heart, 
It's nothing. The food is just a bit spicy. I tried to gloss over it quickly. Until it was bedtime, my younger brother suddenly rushed into my room, shouting, Brother, you're back together with Teacher Willa. I was so startled that I sat up from the bed and asked him how he knew. When I went down to play with a friend just now, I saw her. She even bought me food and said that I could call her sister-in-law outside of school. I didn't expect Willow to tell my brother so quickly. It took me a lot of effort to get my brother to sleep, but the next day the whole family knew about it. My mom was staring at me eating breakfast, asking, Are you dating teacher Willow? Theft. I spit out the milk in my mouth. How did you know? Your brother told me. I knew there was something going on between you and teacher Willow. My mom smiled at me. Teacher Willow's workplace is so far from here. Why does she live here and disturb us from time to time? It must be because of you. I lowered my head and dared not speak. My mom started laughing triumphantly in the evening when I went to pick my brother up from school. Willow insisted on coming back with us. So, when the three of us were going upstairs, we were just met by my mom. You're back, Miss Willow. Come and have dinner at our house later. It really was my mom. In just one day, the address had changed. Sure, Auntie. Willow, being very well behaved, immediately agreed. At the dinner table that night, my brother had a pained expression on his face. If I had known, I wouldn't have played matchmaker. It's so uncomfortable to eat with a teacher. Unexpectedly, this was overheard by Willow who had just washed her hands. Looking at her smiling face that was not exactly laughing, I knew my brother was doomed. Under Willow's encouragement, my brother earned quite good grades in the final exam, but he was not happy for long. Willow keeps on coming to see me. As someone who wouldn't do his homework until the very last day, my brother finally felt the pressure. Right after the new year, he started to complain and say, Brother, move out. Don't let teacher Willow come anymore. I can't. I really can't. Unfortunately, it was too late. If everything goes as expected, for the next three years of elementary school, he will have to study under Willow's supervision. Suddenly, the weather started getting warmer. I was running home with a newly bought ice cream, only to see a familiar woman at my doorstep. She took off her sunglasses and laughed softly at me. Do you have some time? Could we talk for a bit? This woman is Willow's mother. The last time I saw her, it was before my graduation, when she came to my school to find me. You and Willow are not suitable, because of you. She decided not to study abroad. If you truly love her, let her go. Don't hold her back. I thought that Willow and I would be the lead characters in our story, overcoming countless obstacles to be together. But the reality is, she could have had a better life, but she stopped moving forward because of me. I was afraid that 20 years later, after our feelings are worn away by the trivial matters of life, she would resent me for holding her back. So, we broke up. I knew that after getting back together, I would eventually meet her mother again. She took me to a cafe, directly handed me a check, and asked, You know what I mean, right? I cheerfully took the check. Thank you for your gift, Auntie. Don't worry. I will take good care of my relationship with Willow. Her face changed slightly. I want you two to break up. You and Willow are not suitable together. Don't delay her. You told me this three years ago. We broke up. But three years later, she came back to me. Doesn't this explain everything? That's because you seduced my daughter. She clenched her fists, and I calmly pushed the check back to her. If you could persuade Willow, you certainly wouldn't have come to me. If you don't accept me, I don't care. That's your problem, not mine. You really are different from three years ago. Hearing her words, I nodded dot dot after struggling in society for three years. I am no longer that naive. Three years ago, you didn't even mention that matter to Willow. It surprised me. Later, I told her, three years ago. I was the one who separated you two. That was the first time she was so angry. She sighed lightly and pushed the check back to me again. You win. Our mother-daughter relationship was already not great. It can't get worse. Just take the gift, goodbye. With that, she rushed away. Just as I was about to leave, Willow called me. Where are you? In the cafe. Did my mom come to see you? I don't like coffee. So Willow guessed right away. Yes. But this time she is willing to bless us. There was a long silence on the phone. All I could hear was her light breathing sound. 
Why didn't you tell me at the time? It doesn't matter. Now after the storm comes the calm dot dot double quotes. I stayed in the cafe for a while and then Willow came. She was panting and seemed a bit anxious. I'm not going to run away, I said. I chuckled softly and embraced her. I've told you, this time I won't leave you again. 